COVID-19 has changed the ways that we're able to get together and create community. And with many worship centers across the country discontinuing in-person services, religion has had to find a way to adapt. In collaboration with the Muslim Students Association, the Nueces Mosque typically hosts events, lectures, and prayer sessions for Muslim students and community members. But this year, things look different. Honestly, a lot has changed because our MSA is like an organization which loves meeting together. Um, Nueces is like our hotspot, right? The mosque is our hotspot to meet. Because of that, we haven't had any in-person events. So everything has been done online, um, virtually. Some feel that the move to online has actually made it easier to stay connected with their faith. Over Zoom, it's a bit more casual, which makes the scholars more approachable, in my opinion. You know, like you're, you're a bit less timid to maybe ask them questions. Sometimes people don't have their videos on, so it makes people more accessible. Every time, wearing masks and so on on then you should endure this hardship. On the other hand, COVID disrupted many people's experience with the Muslim holiday of Ramadan, which occurred earlier in the spring. Um, being at home all the time actually made fasting a lot harder because um, when you're in school, when you're doing work, um, when you're out there in the open world doing what you have to do, the day kind of goes by. But when you're stuck at home all day, that's when you think, oh man, I really have to eat. I really have to drink something. Yeah, COVID is something we have literally never seen before. Nothing like it. Young Life is a religious student org on campus that's meant to provide resources and community for Christian students. During the pandemic, they've opted to meet up in small groups for Bible studies and casual conversation. A huge thing has been, okay, how can we make small group safe and comfortable for people um, while also still pursuing friendships and pursuing community? Each small group session takes place over Zoom or outdoors, with no more than 10 people in each group. So the biggest thing is being honest and open about where each one of our um, girls is, with not only the pandemic, but just their personal lives in general, because that is a huge um, component of it right now. I think particularly being spiritual in COVID is important because, like, if you already are a religious person and then something crazy like this happens, I think it can be like extra, maybe a little bit extra scary. From a faith perspective, it's me just trying to understand everything, understand what divide interaction has caused this to happen, what the plan is moving forward. A lot of people, their lives changed more than others and more than mine did, but everything changed. And in that season of chaos, the one thing that didn't change was God. 